<clears throat> Hello Ali, we're going to demonstrate why we're putting a new fuel tank sending unit in your 190SL. Here's the new fuel tank sending unit. Here's your old one. And these measure resistance <clears throat> and transmit that information to the fuel gauge on the dash. So what we're going to do is check resistance with our ohm meter. And we will start with the good unit. Put our All right, and you can see a value of 7.9, and what I'm going to do is move this out of the way. <clears throat> and then as I slowly move the fuel gauge, you can see the values change. So 7.9 up to 190 ohms, and back again. Now we're going to use do the original your old one and making contact here <clears throat> and start at 7.7 .7, and then you see the gauge just goes crazy trying to figure out continuity because we've got internal shorting see a blank spot we jump from zero you well, know you can't find anything and then we we've got blank spots and we're all over the place and then we start getting continuity and it's so that means it's working part of the time and part of the time it's not working and what you're looking at is we've got these very fine <clears throat> windings deep inside here and you can see there's a rub spot on there where the, uh, where the contact has been sweeping across here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but anyway, there's a contact sweeps across windings inside here. And due to corrosion from the miserable gas we have nowadays and just general wear, after 10, 20, 30 years, the fuel gauge sending unit wears out. So I'm going to put you a new one in there and you'll have an accurate reading fuel gauge.